Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and tonight, oh, tonight is so cool. I have got um, a guy I met when I first came back into paintball, a guy I really, really liked and respected an awful lot, and uh, but I haven't had him on in quite a while, and I got him on here tonight. I'm going to have Brad Gruitt on tonight, along with my band buddy. That's right. He is a member of the band, the exclusive band, Mr. Rob Walker. And we're going to all be doing the picks and the brackets for the ICC Montressor Classic that is coming up at Fox Paintball pretty darn quick, I got to tell you. I got a few things I want to mention first before we get into that, but uh, it's going to be pretty cool. You know, I, I I can't get to go to that, which kind of sucks because I have a tournament the following week, which, which I'm going to bring up in just a minute here. But um, I support all these guys. I support paintball. Um, I support it in any way, shape, or form, you know, and everybody out there, you know, you guys want paintball to grow. You need to understand that uh, you, you got to be friends. You got to help all paintball, you know. Um, Jennifer and Frank uh, have worked really hard uh, with this ever since they lost their son, Tim, and uh, my hat's off to him, and my hat's off to Rob for taking the reins and, and giving him a hand to do it at his field there, uh, Fox Paintball in Illinois. So this should be pretty cool. And, uh, you know, we've got Brad, Brad Good. I got to tell you, that's a sharp cookie this guy is. Uh, he's going to do the, um, the bracket picking tonight, but he also can take and organize the entire thing, which I am, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this. I think it's going to be very, very cool. Absolutely. So I got a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, obviously, we're going to talk, uh, the whole show is going to obviously be about uh, the ICC um, and Montreal Classic. But I want to mention that at Shooters All Season Paintball in Nicholas, California, is also coming up. And uh, we're going to do a WCPL tournament there. Now, you know, I've had... A, <laughs> We're supposed to be going through PB leagues, but you know, I've, I've sent a thing out to PB leagues and things just don't seem to be going very well with them. Um, and so anyhow, you know, everybody out there, if you guys have a problem getting a hold of them or, or getting set up, uh, go ahead and contact me personally. Um, just uh, get a hold of me on Facebook and, and let me know who you are and what's going on and I'll get a hold of you and we'll get you set up and we'll get you up and running. Because this is a, a good tournament, WCPL. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's at a terrific field. I mean, um, I absolutely love uh, this field. It is so cool. And if you're a woods ball player, you guys are going to love this field too. You absolutely are. So let me give my shout outs real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to bring these guys up. And we are going to do some brackets, period. Okay, I start every week with Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim owns Gateway Paintball. Tiger Stripe Camouflage, right over there, like I said. Uh, and the new Tiger Stripe is out on Social Paintball. It's been 20 years, so this is an original, and it's a first run. So if you you want to get an original color, original pattern, and not a knockoff, uh, jump on Social Paintball and check it out. They're pretty cool. And also, Tim has the last of the WCPL tournaments uh, this year, the 15th and 16th of October. And it's going to be a gateway paintball in St. Louis. Uh, another terrific, terrific field. Absolutely love it. You know, there's a few fields. You know, I, I love uh, paintball sports. Um, you know, I come out here. I love shooters paintball. Uh, there's just a, a lot of great, great fields. But, you know, I got to tell you one that really floats my boat. And that's Sat Con Village down in L.A. Um, Gio has done such a, Giovanni, has done such a great job at a, uh, putting that together. If you guys ever, ever get a chance, uh, you're going to want to go down there and play that. And also we are working on a big game. So we're going to have a big game down there, probably towards the end of the year, maybe the very first part of uh, the following year, because I know the decay of nations is coming up September 30th and October 1st. Uh, if you get a chance, you're going to want to go do that. Another huge big game. But then after that, um, cause I, I will be doing the LA remember foundation in, um, Colorado that weekend. So as much as I want to go to that, I, I'll be unable to do that. And then uh, a couple of weekends later, I can't do it because I'll be in St. Louis doing the WCPL. So if you get a chance, you're going to want to jump down and play. Go go say hi to Gio. Tell him Fred sent you, man. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great field. Anyhow, I'll talk more about that next week. Uh, Tim Sloth, passed. Okay, next, Dan and John Colby, Immortal Air. 
used to be Air America back in the day, sponsored me for 30 some years now. Uh, but or don't have to say much. All I have to say is a name, but or everybody will go, oh, God, but or yeah, that but or Mr. Autocopter. Love the guy, period. And Tom K. Tom K. was my second marker sponsor throughout the years. Uh, Air Gun Design sponsored me for a gazillion years. Um, terrific, terrific marker, terrific person. And uh, Rob knows a little bit about that. Uh, Rob Walker, we have him on tonight. Uh, I, th I think he's actually shot a marker, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe for ever since he's been five, six years old, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, but anyway, it's been a long time. I know that. I, I think that, as a matter of fact, the way I understand it, he had a pacifier that had air gun designs on it. I'm not sure, but we're gonna we're gonna find out when I bring Brad. He, he'll tell us. Rob knows all about it, man. Uh, you know, and and Brad Brad will probably back me up on that because I think Brad's seen the a picture of the of the pacifier. But anyhow, that's my thing. Uh, then I got to mention uh, Rainy and Juvie Boucher. Uh, Juvie's not doing very good right now, so uh, Rainy's her her his her care taker so if you get a chance you know we're paintball family let's throw a little prayer out there for juvie boucher they had paintball news back in the day and a lot of you guys that are watching this show you don't know anything about paintball news everything's you know it's on the screen it's on your phone it's on your tablet it's on all of that stuff but you know back in the day you could go out to a field two times a month and pick up this paper it told you what just happened what was coming up anything that was new all the stories about what was going on and it had a list of all the fields with the map showing you how to get there it was like the the bible of paintball so i kind of miss stuff like that you know i i love the online stuff don't get me wrong i think it's very cool but it's just to me it's just something about holding a magazine and setting it down and then picking it back up and looking through it again i just uh it's, i just love it so anyhow and then randy camilla randy camilla i was the editor of apg back in the day jerry braun uh had paintball sport magazine back in the day now he has paintball sport field in newburgh new york uh where we just had a tournament uh, a few weeks ago great time a lot of fun and then uh, ross alexander ross had line si um ross uh Great, great guy. He was my very first marker sponsor. I still have my original Bushmaster when the team that I started playing professionally and they were 15 man teams. It was uh, it was pretty cool. Traveling was an experience because he had 15 guys, but uh, it was still a lot of fun. And then Jim Lively, Jim Lively. Uh, there was two tournaments he wanted to do back in the day. Jim Lively's Masters, Jerry Braun's World Cup. It was like a, a family reunion. Very, very cool. And then I got to mention my buddy Gino, uh, Gino from Velkin. He's got a new paint out right now, and it's supposed to be equal to graffiti. Um, they're, they're ramping it up right now. Uh, they sent me pictures of it being made and everything like that. The boxes are really cool. I don't know if he's got a name for it yet. Um, you know, he's uh, still looking for, for a name for it. So, you know. If you feel like bugging Gino, you know, bug him, throw out a name, see, see if you can help him with a name on that. But it's supposed to be the same equivalent as graffiti. And he's making it at his new facility down there in L.A. So it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That's what we're going to shoot at the um, WCPL at Shooter's uh, All Season Paintball up there on Nicholas in a few weeks. Coming up very quick. And then I got to say hi to my two little buddies, Mark Gong, Mark Gong Jr., these two guys are, are young guns, and uh, you have to watch these kids play. You know, a lot of us are getting older. A lot of you guys aren't, obviously, but a lot of us are getting older, and we need to pass the torch on. And, uh, you know, this is such a good group of kids that I see coming up in the ranks of Maui Misfits. There, there's just so many of them, Montressor Marauders. It, it's just really, really heartwarming to see this happen. And, you know, what's really good about it is seeing the parents – behind them, backing them. Because without the parents, obviously, you're not going to get a lot of 13, 14, 10-year-old kids putting out that kind of money to go play paintball. So my hat's off to the parents. My hat's off to the kids. And my hat's off to Mr. William Bailey. Ah, oh, he's on the phone. At least you're not eating anything. Nope. How's it going, Fred? What's going on, bro? Not yeah, much. Oh, man, I really talked yesterday. I... I took pictures of my chili dogs before I downed them. One of them I couldn't even pick up. I had to end up eating it with a fork because I, I overamped on it. It's, so I'm a chili yeah. dog freak. Uh, so I hear you yeah. had a little window through your field. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I've almost got it all cleaned up again. So. Yeah, that came out of nowhere, huh? Huh? That came out of nowhere? Yeah. Yeah, me and Caleb was working down there, and in uh, one minute it was just hot. Next minute it was a microburst. And it Straight line wind? Real big winds. And okay. uh, wow. probably 55 to 70 miles an hour. And then it uh, dropped about 10 to 15 degrees in about a minute. Wow. So, yeah, it was crazy. Well, at least but, you got it taken care of. Yep. Brad grew it. Yeah, it should be pretty cool, huh? I got Brad Grewitt on here tonight, and we got Rob Walker. Of course, you know Rob. Yep. Yeah, we we're, were talking about his air gun designs pacifier he had when he was a kid. So I'm hoping to get pictures of that. You know, I want to post that. So if anybody out there has got a picture of Rob with his air gun design pacifier, I, I would really like to have that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because I'm sure the world would be love to see that. So uh, we're going to pick uh, the brackets for the Montrest Classic coming up, Billy. Seems like it's taking forever for that tournament to come around. <laughs> I know. You know, that's what I thought about the Shooters Paintball Tournament. Now, all of a sudden, it's here. And yeah, I'm like, it's oh, there. my God. You yep. know, so, and I'm still working on stuff with it, so. Yep. But anyhow, um, let me bring out our fellow band member. Please, everybody, welcome Mr. Rob Walker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, you get, do you have any pictures of that that Ergen Designs pacifier or not? So, uh, that's under glass. That's hidden in a box. I, you know what? I knew that would be a treasure. I knew that. I, I, along with your with your gold plated shoes, I understand your baby shoes. That's well, they're silver. Cool. Oh, they're silver plated. Yeah, my parents didn't like me much. Oh, oh, well, yeah, that's how it is. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's that's like when I was born. You know, my. Mother says, oh, my God, he's such a treasure. My dad says, you're right, let's bury it. Yeah. But anyhow, you know, I won't go there. But we got a guy on tonight that I, I had on three years ago when I got back four years ago, whenever the hell I got back into paintball. And this guy is a terrific guy. He really is. Um, I enjoy talking to him. He's funny, very knowledgeable. And we finally got him back here tonight. So please, everybody, welcome Mr. Brad Gruitt. What's going on, Brad? Hello, everyone. Oh my oh. God! It looks like Tim Glavin with that hair. Yeah, yeah, he, he's got that radio voice too. You notice that? Yeah, I got, I got mine too. Back, I had to cut mine off a little bit too. It was, uh, I roll over and I was eating hair. You know, it was good because I was flossing my teeth at night, but that was about it. So, anyhow, we're going to do some brackets picking now. Um, how are you guys going to run this? Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with Rob. You know, I, I know Rob's going to slide it over to you, Brad, but. Rob, how many teams do you have right now? We have 21 teams total. So we will have three brackets of seven. That's going to change within. Um, there's a reason for that. And we can get into that a little later after we do the draw when people have questions. Um, it, it's actually to help the players and the teams that are traveling. So, okay. yeah. So the, the draw now, what you're going to do is there's three brackets. You're not going to pick one bracket all at one time. You're going to do bracket one, bracket two, bracket three, bracket one, bracket two, bracket three. Am I correct? Yes. Yep. I, I think that's a very, very fair way of doing that. And Brad, oh my God, so good yes. to have you back on. You know, oh, I'm, great to be back. I'm so happy. I, I'm, I'm actually floating. I'm not even sitting in a chair anymore. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you are going to go ahead and you are going to run this. I mean, you know, kind of like uh, PB Leagues uh, does their thing, you know, when they do it, obviously. Um, but you are going to take an, and structure the whole thing. Am I correct? Yeah, we're we're going to do uh, the scheduling and uh, pretty much the facilitation of the event. Uh, I've worked with Rob before. Um, I've used this system uh, at events that I've put on. Again, it's more flexible for me. And uh, I think that it brings something different to the table and it's a, an evolving process. Perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, um, you know, as, as we do this, as we pick the brackets, so, you know, let's take a, a row one maybe uh, on all three of the brackets and uh, each team, if you guys know a little bit about them, maybe throw just out a little tidbit about each of the teams that you're talking about. And then we'll talk more about the tournament in between as we go along. How's that on you guys? Sounds good. Does that? 
Okay, so let's start picking. Bracket one, pick one is going to be. Do you have this, Brad? I do not. You do not? Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. No. Because I didn't do this. I thought you were doing it. <laughs> Left hand, right hand. No, that's the whole thing. You have the team list. So oh, it was sent to you. Oh, that's okay. Let's see. Just 30 forward. seconds. Yep. So, so Brad, ask, you, ask Brad questions. Yeah. Um, so Brad, you know, when he finally sends this to you, how are you yeah. how are you gonna pick them? Is there a, a random pick or well I do have a randomizer in which I can utilize to do that as well. And here's here's the great part of the, of the process. Typically in most tournaments, uh, which we've all all of us have experienced, um, it often comes down to some competitive divisions and other divisions where You'd rather be anywhere but in that division um, right. because, again, there's just even with some random luck, there's always one division that seems stacked. Yeah. Um, I did this uh, once in the event that I held in Texas uh, because, again, team numbers dictated that we could try this uh, with 21 teams. Uh, it's difficult because you can't do two divisions of 10. You know what I mean? We want to have Correct. a balance and you definitely don't want to do a prelim of six games because again, you're not going to want to travel, have six games and yep. that's it. Well, so let me what, break in real oh, quick. Sorry. You know, we just, we just did the, um, the one the, out there at uh, New York and they had 14 teams. And what he did was he took and uh, each each team had six. But then the next day he rolled over and had added two more games as a, as a general pick. And he had four teams that were really pros, like the Predators, like the shirt I'm wearing and the Ironmen and stuff. And he took those four teams and picked those four separately um, for the two divisions. So, you know, one group didn't end up with all four of those teams trying to deal with it. Absolutely. And that's and that's very similar to what uh, we're proposing or what we're going to be doing, because, again, uh, one of the things that when I talked with Jennifer, when I talked with Rob, uh, everybody that we discussed, it, we want it to be fun. We want it to be uh, a great experience based event. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the original draw of the teams in each division then what we can do or then what we're going to do is after that uh six prelim games we're going to re-rank every team so again uh everybody plays a six game prelims but we're going to re-rank everybody so there's going to be some teams that you've played and some teams that you haven't but it's going to be lumped more with skill and give it that ability to make sure numerically, uh, statistically, that everybody's on an even playing field. See, that's what Kevin Donaldson did is exactly that. Uh, the next day, like we played six games the first day, and the next day we played two extra games, and but everybody was re-ranked. Yep. So, you know, it actually worked out really good. We actually ended up playing a couple of teams that weren't in our division, yes. which I thought was kind of cool. Or maybe one team in our division won out. But yep. it was still cool. We all we got that many games. So it, how you doing over it, there, Rob? Well, I'm not techy enough to write it down while I'm live and send it to Brad. <laughs> uh, and anybody that knows me is probably rolling right now for this. I'm I'm laughing because I do know it so well. But you can you can uh, private message or just send it via messenger. Yeah, send it via me. messenger. That's yep. true. And Bill and I aren't laughing at you. We we'll wait till the show is over. Bill and I will. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, do me a favor. Pull me off for a sec or put me in the green room. Let me do this. Otherwise, you're going to watch me doing this, and I think I might fail. <laughs> 
he's, he's not doing this it. without yeah. a net. Yeah, he'll do it. He'll do a good job. You know, a lot of this stuff is complicated too, you know, and uh, <laughs> I, I know I feel like the poor guy, I got to tell you, you know, I, I've gone <laughs> through stuff like this, uh, but you know, you just got to deal with it, you know, so Brad, once you get all of the the teams that he sends you, you're going to be yep. able to uh, uh, pick everything in from there? Absolutely. Just okay. instantaneously. Is you, know, really that, you know, that's what I've always liked about you, you know, is your confidence, you know, to, to do stuff like this, you got to have confidence, period. You know, if you're wishy-washy, forget it. You're going to get stamped, stepped on. It's, uh, and you know, we got, we got a lot of people out there right now waiting to find right. out who am I going to be playing, you know? Yep. And so, then yeah, after no. tonight, I'm sorry for cutting you off after no, tonight, uh, I can actually have the schedules generated, uh, within minutes. Um, I won't say that they will be posted within minutes, but I can definitely have the schedules generated within minutes. Um, right. and then it, I'm sure it will be posted somewhere. Um, and we will, defer to Rob and Jennifer how they want to do that. But again, uh, if teams don't show up or if something happens, we can on the fly adjust it at the event as well. So. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, he, he jumped off, so he must be uh, sending it to you right now. It's that technology gap that he has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny too, because that technology gap I got is between my yeah. ears. But you know, <laughs> I mean, I can live with that too. Well, I'm. You've been gone now. You know, when I first got back into paintball, uh, you were one of the first people that I got to talk to, and, and you were one of the first people I got to put on my show. And uh, you have uh, been on a journey. You and your daughter have been on a serious journey since then. Am I correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, we've enjoyed traveling. Uh, we documented the first couple years of the resurgence of classical paintball. Um, then I went through some injury stuff that uh, kept me out for quite some time. It's been about a year since I've set foot on a field, um, but I'm happy to come back and help out Rob and Jennifer and make sure that the event goes as smooth as it can and as smooth as it will, because we have everything pretty well set up. Very good. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here reading. I got, no. uh, I'm not as bad as Rob. Well, maybe I'm as bad as Rob. No, no, I'm not going to go that way. Uh, Rob, Rob's worse. I got, Bill, come on. There's got to be somebody worse than me. You know that. There's got to be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm like the the technology butcher, Brad. Believe me. Yeah. You know, I mean. Well, okay. Right. I understand. You're still above Bud Orr and Dan Colby. Right. <laughs> and you know, that's, yeah, that's true, too. That's true too. So you got Tim, Tim Butter, Dan Colby. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, Dan's getting better at it. Dan got on by himself. So I, you yeah. Know, Dan, um, Dan is, yeah, I'll give him that. He is. He's, he's savvy um, now. Yeah. He is. Oh, man. You know what? We've had 107 comments and I just turned it on. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I've, I, I, I was, I was watching some of them for the record. Rob has gotten me the information and I yeah. saw that Jennifer, that Jennifer was trying to get it. I have to double check everything mathematic wise, uh, but then we'll be able to start doing the drawings. So do you want me to click you off for a minute? Or you just want to hang on? No, and do it? no, I, you can, you can leave me on. You guys can talk. I can talk while I do it. I, well, yeah. well, I'm going to talk right now about Cheryl Ellis. She's watching Please do. tonight. Oh yeah. Oh God. Love talking about Cheryl Ellis. She thought that tonight was going to be a Rob Walker roast. And she said, if it wasn't, it should be. Well, you know what? Right. Cheryl, it was so right. She called it days before this happened, Billy. Days. I think the woman is psychic. She called it days before <laughs> this happened. So, you know, not, now I can't tease Rob a whole bunch. You know, um, obviously, Team Fox was the only team we beat in New York. But, you know, he wasn't on it. So I can't can't say a lot. Oh, here we go. James Andrew Stritt. 
Yeah, let's talk about Cheryl. Everybody wants to talk about Cheryl. She's such a cutie. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, this, I got to tell you, unbelievable. She cracked me up. When we were in New York, she was so funny. But she's a little firecracker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's a sweetheart. But, man, don't light her fuse. If you do, stand back. Not she's got a good personality. Oh, yeah. I, I love the girl. She's funny as heck. <clears throat> uh, she's, you know... That's one good thing, you know, that we're really blessed, Billy, you know, is the women that we get to hang around with and people are so absolutely cool. You know, I, I, you got to love it. Jennifer Montressor, Tony Ruddick, Kathy Orr, Sherry, my wife, you know, Susan, your wife, you know, they're just great, great people. And they put up with us. That's the part <laughs> that, you know, that's the only time I question their sanity, <laughs> you know, is they put up with us. So, yeah. but anyhow. Yeah, that's the only time I do question her sanity is. Hey, and Paul Farrell, Paul Farrell just says, hi, Gino. So Gino must be watching. Yeah, Gino, at the beginning of the show, uh, first of all, I, I always give you a plug because I, I believe you deserve the plug, period. But I talked about the new paint you got, and uh, I cannot wait to shoot that stuff. You know, if it's as close to graffiti as everybody say says that it's going to be, that paint is going to rock because I know graffiti, you know, when everybody, anybody asks for, hey, man, what's the best paint out there? What name comes up? Graffiti all the time. So, you know, it's uh, it's a great paint, shoots great. So I'm really looking forward to using this on uh, uh, Shooter's Paintball, you know, uh, coming up here, WCPL in a couple of weeks. So I'm kind of excited about it. And I love the box, too. The Velka box is cool. We just need a name now, Gino. Just, you know, space ball, odd ball. Um, no, that's what they call me. Um, no, it's got to be something uh, something pretty cool. But there will be a name. You know, I like graffiti. I think graffiti is pretty cool. What would what would graffiti backwards be, Bill? Shit. Too slow, too slow. But anyhow, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ah, I love it. Oh, J James McGruff, big balls. Yeah, he, he was talking about you, Bill. So <laughs> that's just a guess. It's just a guess. Oh, yeah. oh there's <laughs> sure. I got to put Cheryl up there. I can't say it because I'll laugh too hard. Okay, but this is Cheryl Ellis. This is what I'm talking about right there. All right. <laughs> that's my boring little buddy right there. It's It says it all, man. So, anyhow, yeah. Um, I cannot wait to try it. You know, Gino worked really hard at this. He's got a brand new facility down there. Um, state of the art stuff. Uh, he just brought in a, a guy that I've known for a long, long time, Mr. Mike Radko. He used to work at AccuCaps, which uh, was Zap Paintball. Zap brought him in when their paint wasn't doing very good. And uh, he was down there this last week with Gino. And, uh, you know, I am pretty sure they got it dialed in. Yeah. So, yep. So hey, anybody out there, you get a chance. Like I say, you know, I love Velkin stuff. Uh, and, and you guys don't understand what Gina really does behind the scenes. He does an awful lot. That's why I talk about the guy all the time. Now I'm going to bring Rob back out here. How you doing, you Rob? Go. Sorry about that, everybody. It's okay. It's okay. We, we've erased all the hate mail. It's good. You're good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I mean, thank God it wasn't directed at Brad, Bill, or me. But anyhow. Uh, you know. That's what I'm here for. Take a beating. <laughs> Man, Rob there was, I, I didn't even have my comments up and running. We had like 107 when I turned. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting to hear them all. Yeah. I can't, I can't see the comments, though. I'm not that techie. So probably a good thing anyway. Oh, and Ryan Courtney says, and now back to the roasting of Rob. <laughs> there it is. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, you know, Ryan's one of the good guys in paintball. You know that? He's, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a very classy guy. I'm very, very happy to say that I call him a friend. So, And then we've got the Bond chick just jumped in. Oh, unbelievable. That's, you know, I mean, you got Cheryl Ellis. You got Bond chick. Oh, man. Easy, Fred. I know I'm sweating. I'm sweating my <laughs> microphone. Oh, turn on my the microphone. air. Turn on the AC, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, man, that that would be like stereo. Wow, those two, are unbelievable. 
Uh, so yeah, fortunately, I haven't experienced those two in there yet at the same time. Yeah. Oh, Ryan Courtney. Ryan, you know, let me tell you something, buddy. And Ryan, just thank me for saying that. You don't have to thank me for saying that. Every When I talk about people like that, they deserve it. If I don't think anybody deserves anything, I just don't say anything about them, period. And if I think you really suck, I don't even mention the names. You know, I, I think that the people that are good for the sport need to be mentioned, and they need to be mentioned often. Any, everybody agree with that on this thing? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I got Paul Farrell. Uh, I got Joshua Estrada. Um, you know, James uh, McGruff. Uh, I, I like Cody. But anyhow, um, you know, all these people, Ryan Courtney, these people are good for paintball. You know, they take the time out of the life to sit down and listen to me jabber for an hour on Tuesday night, you know, and half the time, you know, people are going, what the hell is he talking about? You know, better than live TV. I don't know, <laughs> you know, so, you know, these people, um, Brian, my hat's off to you. I think you're a terrific person. You, Paul Farrell, Joshua Estrada, uh, Cliff Myers watching Pump in Canada, and obviously a very, very, very good friend of mine, Mr. Mark Gong. Uh, I mentioned his kids earlier in the show. So, um, yeah, speaking, of, speaking so I, of Canada, I've got a special guest ref coming from Canada. Who's that? I got, I got Chris Martell coming down. I finally get to meet him. Oh, Another that right? bad guy. Oh, all right. He's coming down. He's going to be helping ref. Very cool. Yeah. I'm still yeah. putting refs together out here for our tournament. You know what I mean? I got some people that want to do it, but you know, I want the best of the best. That's all there is to it. And uh, so I still got a little time, but uh, I got to tell you, fast. what's that? It's going fast. It goes real fast. I know all about it, man. Well, I just completed my list of 20 refs yesterday. Did you? Yeah. So it takes a while. I'm, yeah. going, I'm doing it the way you're doing it, you know, and, well, My you just two, want the best of the best, you know. Uh, you do. You know, I got the first two people that came through for me back when this whole thing started. Uh, the day it was announced, I made a phone call to them, and they all they jumped on immediately. My two head refs are Jeff Crouppen from Smoke and Nick Starr from Fight Club. Very cool. Very cool. We got Jacob Easter watching right now, too. And he's playing both the ICC and the Kella WCPL. I can't wait to see you either, Jacob. Yes. Uh, yeah, Jacob's a good guy. You know, he's uh, he's kind of growing on me. You know, it takes a while to grow on me. I just, uh, you know how I am, Rob. I'm, I I like somebody, but you know, it takes a while before I call your brother. Well, Little girl, yeah. Brother, well, you're, let's... Then you're in. Yeah. Yep. So, absolutely. It took you a few years, and you know, I liked you for a long time. Yeah, well, that's because I was hanging out with Dennis, Ashley, and Chip. Well, you were half right. So. <laughs> 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 I had to get away from them to create my own world. Then I was good. I, see, I love Chip. Dennis. So do I. <laughs> Just don't sit next to him when you're at a restaurant because you'll never get your food. No. I, oh, yeah. yeah. It's funny. You know, he's got some kind of whammy that's hooked to him. He'll be the first to order and the last to get his food. Yeah, I know. He, seriously. And, and, you know, it sounds funny. And, and when we first talked about it, I thought it was a joke. But, you know, I hang around with no. a lot. It's not. It's been that way for as long as I've known him. It's a curse. And that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Ryan! Look at Ryan! Just wrote me a letter. Holy smokes! Uh oh. Wow! Taking care of his mom. You know, Ryan. Good for you. Uh, nothing but total respect for you. You know, my you mother bet. just passed away about four months ago. And um, let me tell you, my mom lived with me for 34 years and loved every minute of it, too. So, you know, a lot of respect to you, Ryan. Much respect. All right, Brad, you yes, look sir. like you're ready. Anytime. Anytime. All right, buddy. What do you say? We've got these people watching right now. Uh, Andrew, the gray hair grows real well on you, Fred. Andy Sturette. <laughs> I used to like him too. Good. Tell you know, Andy. He was that close to. I'm going to have to create you a, a Bender's parking pass, and you're going to be in the back. Oh, there you go. There you go. I wouldn't even give him a pass, but anyhow, that's that's the way it is. So. 
<laughs> oh, my God. Cheryl Ellis is killing me. Okay, Brad, what do you say? Let's do bracket one, pick one. Uh, bracket one, pick one. We have the outcast dogs. Outcast dogs? Yes. Now, if I'm right, I, I might be wrong on this, but they are a rebirth of naughty dogs. And right. they're still, I think some of them are still the same guys from back in the day. Always a bunch of good guys there. Rocky well, I would Newt. love them. If Rocky Newt was is involved chili or dog. not. What's that? I said, I would love them as long as their captain was Chili Dog. <laughs> People know I like Chili Dogs. Anyhow, let that go. I love Chili Dogs. Yeah. Okay. Bracket two, pick one. Yes. Bracket two, pick one is. Uh, NYPD's finest. Now there, Tim F. and the boys, you know, I can't say enough about them. Yeah, I can speak up to that. Uh, you know, cool. when, I, when I very first met them two years ago, you know, they they came up and were just were so nice. And then uh, this last year when I was there, they gave me a jersey, a challenge. I mean, they just, they're just classy, you know, and, and that's mm. what people paintball needs is stuff like that people like that you know yep. they're just uh you know tim and lou you know these guys are first class all the way and they got a a job that uh i don't know you couldn't pay me to be a cop anymore nope. you know it, it's just the bad guy gets all the rights the cop does nothing uh, yep. gets nothing but anyhow they got my respect that's for darn sure okay bracket three number one Midwest Legion. Midwest Legion. Yes. Yes. Now, if I'm if I'm right, these guys just started a year or two ago, and uh, I've gotten to talk with one or two of them here and there. They sound like a fantastic group of guys, and I'm sure I know some more of the guys that are on the team. I just haven't heard of everybody who's on the team yet. So. Okay. Now but, we're going. We're going back to bracket one, pick two. Colorado United. Uh, Andy Starrett's team from his field. Yeah, Andy's put three teams in there. Yes, okay. he did. Bracket two, pick two. Missouri Magic. Now these guys were from back in the day. Are any of I don't know if any of them are original players coming. There's a few of them. Are there? Good. I hope so. Okay, bracket three, pick two. With intent. These guys are. Uh, some of them used to play on um, Damage Inc. local team, not the pro. Um, one of the guys on the team, Rob, was out at the field the other day talking to him, and they created this team a few years ago. And uh, they've come out and practiced. They've come out and played, and a uh, bunch of good guys again. Very cool. Okay, we're at bracket one, pick three. NFP. NFP, huh? T. 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 No blank and tomatoes. Yep. Okay. Bracket two, pick three. Montressor Marauders. We all know who they are. Yep. Okay. Bracket three, pick three. Indy Rain. That is uh, Ty Woodburn. His daughter plays on the Valkyries. Oh, very cool. Okay, we're back to bracket one, pick four. Team Vintage. No, I don't. Vintage. vintage. Okay. I don't know much about them. 
they are a team from uh, River Falls, Wisconsin, but players from all over the Midwest. Uh, Aaron Foley uh, owns and runs that field. Uh, oh, okay. Played with Farside and many other pro teams, classics. Okay, so we're now bracket two, pick four. Uh, scorpions. Scorpies? Scorpions, like the bug. Got it. They're, they practice with us a lot down there. They come down. They're always fun to be with. Cool. Josh Gershwin and the boys. Okay, now we are at bracket three, pick four. Prime suspect. Oh, we know who that is now. Yeah, let's not give him too much credit. His head is like, you know. You know, they're going to actually be doing the repping for uh, uh, Tim's tournament. They're not going to do it? No. Oh, Tim told me they had it all set up. Yeah, they had. Uh, they ended up uh, placing in their brackets, so now their teams have to play in a tournament that's held on the same day. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh man. Well, so much for that. Yeah. Okay, bracket one, team five. Blind aggression. Okay. Moving on. Pick five for bracket two. Philippines. Philippines? Team yes. Philippines. Yeah, I know. Okay, also, and then pick five for bracket three, Brad. Expendables. I think that's another one of Dan Andy's teams. It is. He's coming with Allie Remembered. He will have a booth there also. Right. Which I'm looking forward to. Okay, now we're back to bracket one again. Pick six. 007. 007 is our uh, uh, throw together group. And uh, all the guys interested in playing but don't have a team. We got five guys on it that are from the area that have never played a tournament before. Ah, uh, that's cool. They're going to enjoy that. Yes, they are. Okay, bracket two, number six. Team Crowley. They're tied in with uh, Crowley Ridge and Prime Suspects and all those guys. Right. They're all you're all friends over there in St. Louis area. Okay, bracket three, pick six. Legacy. That'd be Matt Courtney and Goose and the boys. Did you say legacy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It could be the freaking Meekers. <laughs> Never know which one they're going to send. All right. Now we're back to the last pick in bracket one. Number seven. Toxic Teddy. There you go, Jacob. No, no, that's that's a pretty good group right there. Yeah, you know, so far I think uh, all of these are pretty well uh, uh, evened. You know, I think it's uh, I think it's a good draw so far. Okay, bracket two, number seven. Colorado United Black. And you don't. I think I left one off. That is who the special guest at 21 would be. That would be NFG Nation. NFG Nation. NFG Nation. Okay, so that makes 21. That's seven in each bracket? Absolutely. So um, 
I wrote these down, but it's kind of dark in here. And, uh, you know, me, I don't see so good anyhow. Do you guys have them written down? She can read them. I do. Me now? Okay, let me hear them. Now, bracket one. Bracket one, Outcast Dogs, Colorado United, NFT, Vintage, Blind Aggression, 007, and Toxic Teddies. Correct. Very cool. Good, good group there. Bracket two. Bracket two. NYPD's Finest, Missouri Magic, Montressor's Marauders, Scorpions, Philippines, Team Crowley, Colorado United. That Black. seems to be the group of death. Yeah. That's the group of death. You know what? They're all good. You know, Joshua Stratus said that's, you know, you're right, Josh. All of these are good brackets right now. They are. Yep. Bracket three. The last bracket three is bracket. Midwest Legion with intent. Indy Rain, Prime Suspects, Expendables, Legacy, NFG Nation. There you go. All right, everybody that's watching, you know, um, you know, first of all, I uh, <clears throat> upmost and foremost, I wish everybody has a good time because you know, um, it's always fun to win. It's it's always hate. To, you know, it's bad to lose. You know, you, you always feel bad about it. But, you know, you got to understand that you're going out there to have a good time, too, and to actually enjoy the sport of paintball, you know, and that's part of it. You know, on the field, you could be a, a monster, play your heart out. But, you know, when you get off the field, you know, go shake hands, eat, win, lose or draw with whoever you played, you know, uh, keep it friendly. Because, you know, I always say that a lot of people. Like in New York, there was a lot of people over there that weren't playing. It just came to show up to see what was going on. And, you know, everybody came off to feel always smiling and, and happy. Didn't have a problem with that. And that makes people that haven't played it or want to get into the sport, that makes them more, more intense to want to go out and try it. You see somebody come off swearing and yelling and, and griping at everybody. Take my word for it. That's no fun. Yeah, well, people watching it, you're not going to want to do it. You know, if I'm I'm at any event, they see somebody somebody coming off, and it looks like there's going to be trouble. That's the last last sport that I would like to try. So, anyhow, um, you know, you did a great job tonight, uh, both you, Rob and Brad. Um, Sorry about the hiccup. Oh, it is what it is. You know, I mean, we got to talk a little bit. It was cool. You know, it, it all worked out. And, you know, Rob, we expect no less. So it was cool. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> well, no, stuff like this happens. You know, it, you can you can plan the best at everything. And it just, uh, that's just how it is. Cheryl, yeah. Adams, uh, I don't smile um, because I'm happy. I smile because I have no idea what's going on. God, I love that woman. <laughs> and I live it that way, baby. So, but anyhow. There's a couple of things. Uh, the field will be open Friday for walking. So anybody can come in anytime. I'll be down there. Can they, can they get paint on Friday? or? Uh... That's yet to be determined. I'm not sure when the truck is coming. I think it's coming late on Friday. Okay. Can I ask what kind of paint? GI four star. GI. Okay. We will have an orange fill. Okay. Want to make us different. And, and orange actually, in our woods, orange stands out a lot better than the pink, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, the um, What color is the shell? Do you know? I believe it is a sapphire blue. Is it? I believe. That's right. Got it. Very, very cool. Well, I got and, to tell you. Uh, Go ahead. I got, I got one one person to say thank you to, and that is uh, I got the best chronograph judge around, so I got Howdy. Oh, yeah, he's number one. Yeah, he's uh, can I use my little rascal mobility scooter? <laughs> That's Howdy, and, and you know what? Howdy is the best of the best. You know, when we were in New York, he did the chronograph, he did the uh, coin toss, uh, and he did everything. You know, he, he was on it too. He's uh. Outside of being just a terrific person, he handles that job very, very well. He does. Yeah. Makes it pleasant and fun. He do, Oh, yeah. He's a kick in the pants. And I've known the guy for, you know, I mean, 
him and I both walked with vigor when we met, you know, I mean, now we both slowed down a little bit. So he's a, he's a great guy. Um, I got to tell you, you're going to take, and uh, Brad, you're going to put together, you got the brackets now, you know who plays in it. So yeah. now you're going to put together what succession they play in when the tournament Correct. comes the out. Correct, the schedule, yep. Yep. So you'll be handling all of that within the next few days, I'm sure. Correct. Very, very cool. Well, you know, Brad, I got to tell you, I was really glad you got to come on here tonight. It's been a long time. You know, I'd, I'd actually like to have you back on after you guys do the tournament. Absolutely. And it's you know, great to be back. Um, yeah, um, yeah. You need to you need to get your face out there a little more. You know, I mean, yeah. you're good for you're good for people. That's what we need. You know, it's uh, you know we got a lot of guys up and coming. You know, we got Jacob Easter. He's he's coming up. Um, uh, you know, we're gonna polish him a little bit more, but he's getting there. He's 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 understanding the thought process because if you want to be great, you got to act great. You know, that's how it is. <laughs> so, and then we've got uh, Bud Orr. Bud is probably one of your best examples of uh, what it takes. You know, Bud has been working for paintball, worked his butt off back in the day, and the guy is still working his butt off. Just had open heart surgery. I don't know if you knew. Yeah, that. he looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he showed us his, he, he pulled his shirt open when we had him on, and he showed us his tracks and everything. Yeah, it was a, it was a good one, so. I just got to tell you, I, I'm just uh, very, very happy. I, I know that Jennifer and Frank are very happy with both of you guys. Uh, Rob, I know you've worked really hard on the fields and putting this all together. And I don't think you could, uh, I don't think you could ask for a better guy to jump in and be with you than you could Brad, you know that. Brad has, uh, I've known him a long time. He's, he's got ideas I love. It's, it's, some of them are different. Some of them are, you know, what the industry would expect. But I like the different. Yeah. And when you see our fields, you're gonna you're gonna look at me and go, "I hate you. I love you. I hate you." But I love you. Yeah. Well, you know, I've it, done it. It, you know, God can't even make everybody happy, guys. Come on. You know, yeah. I mean, that's just kind of, kind of how it is out there. Period. So no matter how hard you try and know know how good much you do good for paintball, there's always gonna be somebody that doesn't like you. But you know, when you do a tournament like this. There's a few things that can kill it, but paint and refs are the top two. Boy, I got to tell you. Yeah, we'll have the uh, GI trailer there, so every all the paint will be in the trailer for the weekend, all nice and cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a big thing. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. GI four-star, huh? Yeah. We tend to uh, – I kind of share Tim's belief, uh, Glavin, you know, five star in the woods is hard to shoot through some of the thick weeds we have. We have some some weeds that are, you know, I call them ball busters because they grow just high enough and they're about as thick as your pinky. And when you're down low, you can't shoot through it. And five it's star will just, soft, huh? Yeah, it's just too soft. Yeah. So that's yeah. why we do four star. Uh, very cool. It's a good balance. Well, you know, Brad, I, now you're going to be there at the tournament, obviously. Um, yes. Yeah. What are you going to do? You're just going to uh, make sure everything runs good along it's with going to make my life a living hell. I will do whatever is needed of me within reason. Um, but basically, uh, we'll have everything set up before we get there. Uh, all the score cards have already been done. So we'll be handling the scoring end of things. Uh, I see some people posting about media. There's going to be uh, various media sources there. Um, also, uh, Midwest Action Media will be there uh, shooting and uh, making posts. The good, the good side of these things is everything's pretty much electronic. Um, and I heard that Tim now has internet service or satellite wi-fi so we can techno the heck out of everything so i'm looking forward to that so you're gonna you're gonna be posting the scores as they happen online then uh we have the ability to do that yes you do okay yeah because i know that's one thing with uh pv sports uh that they do they you, you, they have the ability to uh post online because i was really surprised uh, how many of these kids won't go look at the scorecard 
scoreboard, but they'll sit and look at their phone and expect it to be on their phone. So, right. It takes, effort. It takes mean, effort to walk the 40 yards to the scorecard. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. That's why I leave a candy dish. I leave a yeah. candy dish by the scoreboard. There you go. <laughs> well, you know where Rob's going to be. That's right. a bit coffee, yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was down at SACCON, um, down there, you know, that's where Bud Orr started. Bud Orr has his shack and everything down there. And uh, Giovanni is going to take and put, he's setting this all up now. There's different fields because he gets stuff from uh, huh, from these movie sets. He's got statues that are like 30 feet tall. It's just crazy to see it, you know. But he's going to take and put the, these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, um, Help me out here, Brad. You know, the GoPro action cameras. No, it's not no. that. No, he's gonna, no, he's going to put these little things on that you can take your phone up and click it on your phone. And then you can read exactly what that code. QR codes. There QR you go. Code. There you yep. go. I had the code down. I couldn't think of the bar. I yep. haven't drank for so long. Uh, Cheryl Ellis and I went through this in, in New York. Ah. Man, that's another story. Yeah. So, but anyhow, um, yeah, you, you can walk up and take your phone. And click on it. Uh, there you go. That's how that's I'm handling the, it. What, that's the old depresso? Di Serono. Oh, I got you. I thought it was old depresso. Anyhow, because uh, that, that, that that's too. a good drink, too. Yeah, that's a good drink, too. So, guys, I got to tell you, I appreciate so much you guys coming on here tonight. Um, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I'm sure all these teams are, are biting at the bit now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that... Uh, We'll get a few more teams because you, your tournament and our tournaments are like a week apart. So that kind of uh, yeah, kind of sucked, but it is what it is. So, you know, we're hoping we get a few more teams out here for the WCPL also. But, you know, I wish uh, you guys nothing but the best. You know, I know you two guys are smart enough. You guys are going to pull it off. Now all you need is the weather. You know, if the weather stays good, I'm sure you guys are going to have a riot. If we don't get what you currently have, we'll be just fine. Oh, baby, it's toasty out here. Oh, oh I bet. I've oh, been watching. It's hot. Yeah, when I'm sitting down, I'm moving too fast. You know, I, mean, it's, I, it's, I hope it's, it's under 100 when your tournament comes up. Yeah, I hope it is too. You know what's good about shooters paintball is the entire field mm. is a canopy. There's very little. I mean, some light comes through in spots, but uh, very few. It's really, really a cool field. Um, good. I know a lot of teams, we laid it out last week, so a lot of teams are going to be wanting to go up and check that out now. So it's pretty cool. All right. Well, Rob, I'm going to let you go off first. Uh, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. I want to thank you again up front for coming on tonight and uh, giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, you know, I, I enjoy doing these picks. I enjoy you guys, uh, and I enjoy building paintball. So you're up. Well, I appreciate you letting us on tonight and doing this with us, despite the little hiccup of my – on doing tiny, so thank you. tiny. we'll yeah, see you Bill. tiny hiccup all right rob you have good luck out there okay and, thank you and brad. Let me, yeah let me hear from you afterwards i'd like to put you and brad back on we'll talk about it okay all right all right hey, you have a good evening rob all right everybody it's mr rob walker um great guy great guy great guy three times i say it three times that means he's a great guy, period. And uh, he's a band member. I got, I have an awful lot of respect for him, too. He's uh, really a good kid. Brad, buddy, yes. I am so glad that you came back. I am so glad that you are getting major involved again. And I am so, 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 three times, glad that you came on my show tonight to explain everything to us. Always great to be here. Well, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody, and, and then I'm going to be looking forward to you in a few weeks coming back on. Absolutely. Thank you all very much. And uh, I look forward to doing what we can to make sure that this is a memorable event, and we just keep growing and building from here. Very cool. You have a good evening, my friend. You as well. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Brad. All right, Billy. Well, they know who's playing who now. That's that middle bracket. Yeah, Ooh. I know it. You know, I I like I like the way the way Brad and and Rob laid it out though. You know, I like the way they yeah. they've got this set up. I think it's pretty darn cool. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So Billy, I'm let's say goodbye to everybody. All right. Uh, goodbye everybody, and uh, 
see you tomorrow night at night of the museum general paintball and uh you're in missouri or close to illinois area near st louis uh come on out to predator paintball this weekend on the 22nd at 9 a.m uh, they just got a brand new airball field from falcon and they're gonna break it in so he's got special pricing and everything for it so uh come on down play very cool so tomorrow night night at the museum that's six o'clock pacific eight o'clock where billy's from and yep. nine o'clock on the other side of the country yep. all right billy you have a good evening all right, everybody, I appreciate so much you guys watching tonight. Um, like I say, I I can never say enough about the people who watch my show. I'm, you know, to say I appreciate it, it would be weak. It, it's just, uh, I there is no words for it, really. It's just, I, I am honored, I am blessed, and I thank you all so much. Because, guys, remember, you know, we're all working together. Uh, and like I say, when we all work together, we make paintball bigger and better. Now, if you love this sport, as much as I love this sport, let's all work together. Uh, enough grumbling. Let's put it back together. Let's all try to help each other out. Make the pie so big that a piece of that pie is just going to be great. All right. So until next week, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions, please, everybody, play hard, play safe, play fair. Get out there and play paintball. All right. Bye now.